good evening YouTube just a little bit of a update uh, showing you the homebrews I have um, we'll start with this one here let's get the head it's kind of hard to get the photos with uh, when I'm filling them all up but there you go as you can see there's some nice lacing on the glass it's uh, a nice uh, copper yellow in color it's about a finger of head this one here is the uh, West Coast IPA this one here I would just regenerate the head alright this one here is like almost straw yellow in color it's about a finger of head nice tiny bubbles fairly clear um, this one's a kind of a shocker. This one's actually one of my favorite right now. And uh, it's a Sriracha Ale. Now, you guys may have known or heard of the Duggins uh, Brewery Sriracha Ale. It's a light beer, blah, 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 blah. That beer is gross. It's crap. This beer is actually, they're mass producing it at the Brooklyn Brewery in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Um, Sriracha Ale, and this one here is a big whopping seven and a half percent beer. It's made strictly with uh, Pilsner uh, malt and Sriracha hops. It's a really good uh, summer beer. There's uh, Sriracha hops have a really lemony character. Oh. And this one here is my Brooklyn Lager. Again, it's a coppery orange in color, finger of head. Now these have all been dry hopped. There's another one, there's some floaties in this one. Um, this one here is a pale ale. And um, Again, it's similar in color. It's a little lighter than the the, the, the West Coast IPA and the Lager. Um, it's more of a, a dark yellow. And then this one here is the only dark beer I have on tap right now. I kind of try and only make one dark beer at a time because I don't have nitrous. And nitrous makes the beer a lot more smooth and creamier. So this is only carbonated with CO2. This is my double oatmeal stout. It's black as black can be. It has a finger of head. It's kind of a mocha kind of head. Um, this one's room temperature. This keg is not in the fridge. Um, I don't know if you can see outside. But it's snowing pretty bad out there. Got a big storm that came up from Illinois. Um, we're supposed to get about 20 centimeters of snow. There's two kegs out there. The temperature's a, you know, it's mild. It's like uh, minus three or four out there. Um, so the kegs are fine out there, they're not going to freeze, but anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little, uh, a little show and tell of the brews that I have on tap, and, um, they're all fairly good beers, they're all home brews people, um, you know, you guys can do these at home yourself, and they taste a lot better, um, anyhow, um, Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I guess you guys want me to taste them. Well, I'll taste them for you. There is one more beer I have on tap. Well, it's not really on tap. It's actually kegging. I just finished kegging it. I was going to pour it, but it's still kind of cloud, really cloudy. So I decided not to. So these are the five on tap. Now, anyways, there I tasted them all for you guys. They're all really good. Um, not much more I can say. Uh, maybe I'll do a review. Um, you know, I'll do a, maybe I'll do a couple of reviews on them or whatever at a later date. 
Um, right now, I'm stuck with the uh, the commercial beers that I'm doing reviews with and stuff like that. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out. Bye.